Hey folks, quick introduction to the new set visualizer node we've added to Gaffer. The aim here is to help you understand which sets the objects in your scene are a part of. And we've got a simple scene here and we've dropped the node in the graph and it's going to work by changing the color uh, of the viewer display. So by default nothing happens because we don't have any sets listed. Uh, you can put star in here if you like for everything, but in production scenes this list is a little bit long. So we're just going to filter this down to all of the asset prefix sets. Uh, you'll notice here that all the objects with a stripe pattern, they're members of more than one set. You can adjust the thickness uh, of the stripes depending on the, the type of asset you've got to make it a little more or less readable. Uh, in many cases, set membership can be inherited too. Uh, so in this case, the, many of the cows, they're also in the, in the field uh, set. So if we turn off include inherited, the display will now only show you uh, the sets that the object is directly a member of rather than through any parent. In the legend here, uh, you can right click uh, to get a couple of extra useful functions. Uh, we can select all of the members of a specific set, but uh, what we what you soon notice is that the, uh, the default colors quite often become a little bit too subtle and hard to distinguish, and here you can add a color override uh, to allow you to customize the color of any particular set that you need to. You can quickly change the set that this is assigned to through the right click menu here too. This works up here if you need it, it's a quick reference. Um, and this also takes wildcards, so if we change this for example, we've now changed the color of all of the, all of the cow sets uh, to be white. So hopefully this gives you a bit of a breakdown of what's in your scene and helps you figure it out.